I'm just looking up about the Garista's, um... Epic Arc. Okay, never mind. I can't do it. I need an interceptor. And an interceptor... So I know someone I've skilled for. It's one of these. <sighs> Have to do it in one of these. Tier 2 freaking. Which I have not trained at all. So, it is worthless to me. It just, I keep seeing... Uh, missions. Epic arcs! I can do this! No, I can't. There's only seven missions and 52 of them. The Bloodstained Stars. What's the rewards for this again? And yeah, I've already done seven of them. Or I'm on the seventh, either way. Uh, This is a nice thing to gain rep with a faction. Say if you've fallen a bit lower than you'd like with one, you can boost your rep. Uh, say it's only with the four empires. So... Damn, I was hoping I could just easily show all the empires on one screen. But, uh... Okay, Kaldora Republic, Empire, and here. So... Wait. You get 7% to a faction. So I can go up to any of these. Uh, at the end of all this, I can get 7% with one of these four. Eight point something with another. Could go and do that. The issue also with doing this is uh, you, you go to null sec. You can be attacked. The issue with doing this is it goes all over the place. You also don't get any loyalty points, so it's a level 1 tank. It's a baseline epic arc.
Eh, let's do it. You get you probably get a storyline tank for each one for every sixteen you do. Or something. Mm hmm. I'll drop this off too. percent drone damage. Don't have enough CPU. Jesus. Across from all of these, twenty million. Jesus. All right. Uh, oh yeah. I need to grab some more ammo. Station. Charges. Hybrid. Not the type I use. All right. Unlock. We'll just roll with it. Again. It's a uh, goddamn tier one mission, you know? I'll deploy a drone and I'll handle things. I wonder if. No, no, it should be fine. It should be fine. Paranoid that they won't accept me in, my, in this ship. Stargate. Jesus, last time I did it was 2014. We've located a doctor from the wrecked ship. Fortunately, we've located her by way of a ransom demand. We want this doctor alive, so we're gonna pay it. Luckily, they just want planetary currency, so the real ISK value is nominal. I'll put the money in your hangar when you accept this mission. I need you to take the ransom to the designated uh, yeah, drop off point. Uh, they're to drop off the doctor as soon as you drop off the money. This is a lot of money. Planetary currency, so it's apparently relatively worthless. But they still insist on calling it a lot of money. 
Maybe it's a lot of money in a shit that's a ton of coins sort of way. Might be all ones, but fuck, you could probably drown an infant in it. I could sleep here, honestly. I uh, have my legs up. It's not bad. Here's actually kind of comfortable. Made enough. Approaching Stargate. Oof. Jumping. Okay, apparently I just flew by Travelgon forces. I do not know how to say it. I... Also, when I was saying evolving setting, Evil Line does have evolving aspects to it, but it's very much centered on its player uh, driven ev events. While there are MP like NPC stories and different things, like the so them coming in, the travel guns being attacked, the drifters attacking, those seem more like freak events in the game rather than the standard. Like in Elite Dangerous, what's rather nice about that is there's a constant, you know. Well, there's player stuff that go on. There's constant community goals, so there's player-driven events. There's also... The constant news reports. It, it feels like there's a full setting and universe there. That is something I would love for EVE Online to do. Just make it feel like more of a world, you know? It ne especially needs it with just the generic-ass quests you do. Elite Dangerous has it too, but in general, it didn't bug me as much. Probably because I just haven't put in as much time, but. Eh. Hmm. We're not too far off. But yeah, um... Something EVE Online could certainly benefit from. Out of curiosity... Thing here called Eve Pulse. That seems to be more of a general thing. Like, it talks about news of the game, but in a real world kind of thing. Like, okay, J Jit is getting. Re I'm only looking at it in passing here. But it just. Like, they've scoped videos, which, from what I remember, are, you know, this in-game scope. It's like, like the reports you get in Elite Dangerous. It's like that. Pulse, I'm guessing, is more of a out-of-universe one. They had a Pulse thing three months ago. 
Then four months ago they had two. Seven months ago they had one. Eight. One. And then nine months ago. Approaching the A year ago. And then it kind of breaks down. They would also order, like, little videos here, like, uh, from E-Vegas, uh, e FanFest, ton of Pulse videos. Uh, which they do use to introduce new things, like the Frigate Escape Base and the like. Faction Warfare updates, little sick events, new Avatar, Magic School Bus, the guides to, like, Nullsec. They have trailers for different things that, that they're coming out. But yeah, they... The last... Uh, scope thing was... Three months back, as of time of recording. Thanks away, you know... The universe doesn't feel too alive. If, if you're not in one of those megacorps. Um, so, it, it takes away a little from it. So one thing you can say Elite Dangerous did better. Um, it certainly makes it feel like more of a lived-in universe with those constant reports. Though it would feel even better if you could listen to the old ones. Again, I still want to go read through them all at some stage. Or uh, a fair number of them. Well, apparently the final boss of Bloodstained Stars is in the Genosis. Approaching Stargate. They recommend using a tier 3 destroyer, uh, because they're versatile, they have high damage, they can get around really fast, because this is, goes all over the place to all four empires. So, But uh, that's if you're speed running it. They recommend it for new players, uh, because it gives you enough, uh, according to this, the mission rewards and time bonuses will pay for a cruiser and its first set of fitting modules, and necessary skills needed. Which sounds pretty great. Uh, but then again, it is a 50-something quest arc, so... But he hopes so. Um, I mentioned you get rep uh, with a different one of the empires you can choose. Um, you don't lose rep with anyone else. It's free. Even adjusted standings for your st 
rep with a faction doesn't count. You just get seven, eight, whatever percent rep with a group with no knockout, positive or negative. I can gain rep with the Kaldari, but no penalty, no gain with the Amar, and no penalty with Glente. I'm a Glente. Oh, hey, and true, true, but. I want to be able to get around space and go to Jitta. So. Uh, Ushak Subclade of Velis Clade scattered the adoption schemata of reverse time, uh, reclaimed. Uh, reclaimed adaption schemata of 729 Tactical Troika classification vessel into the Clade flow without proving. After convocation of travel glide outside struggle, convocations of travel have, have now time pressure for dispersal. To Process translation of data included in recovered design schematics of the tank. Ha. Huh. Clunky. I say I'll buy this hundred. And then I'll buy for five thousand. Five thousand. But yeah, these are the sisters of Eve. The founder of it is actually the sister of the guy who founded Serpentis. These are something. Uh, scan this object reveals a substance that could be used like a neural booster. This complex chemical uh, similarities booster is used to improve capsular tracking manipulation. It appears to be of drifter origin. Hmm. I don't know what AK cost is. Rogue Drone Nexus Chip. There is a... connections. There's also Sister's Launcher. Uh, bonus 10% to it. So basically, the ship was trashed, but no one knows why. And this is whole like investigating it, and as far as I remember, and trying to deal with it, and it ends up dragging it all across the system. We received an investigated distress call from the starship Damsel. Damsel in distress. You got in touch with an undercover Concord agent who told you that Ship Damsel was registered to a pilot under the name Miriam Dagen. You destroyed the pirates and the Concord agent and information waiting for you. 
Tavis Jack sends you to find a man named Red. He was murdered by the time you found him. Give him Sister Altora the information you acquired while working with Travis Jack. She informed you that their in investigation of strange data query you recovered has, some, uh, has suggested some kind of drone involvement, though they have been unable to decrypt the data itself. Different cock and ball division uh, corporation storages. Hmm. Three, actually. Jeez. How much? How many uh, cock and ball divisions are there? Oof. Jesus. That worked out well. I wonder how much cash we can get if we kill you and keep the doctor. Kill a capsule here. Kill. Sick of my pretties. Again, this is a level one mission. It's gonna be in no way difficult. Still, it is a good one for noobs to do. And I mean that with all of affection. It is a good one for for you to do. Um More than I anticipated. Uh, just make sure if you're good, you have a good ship. Uh, I think I saw a recommendation to use destroyers, but I honestly don't remember. Once you've done the, the tutorials, the introduction quests, it's a good idea to go do this. Oh, she was just sent right into my inventory. Dr. Alban is an extremely competent ship's doc doctor. Di director? Uh, who's recently been having a run of rather bad luck. Jack Henning and Doctor, you retrieved the janitor Nebin Sinteran for Sister Allura. Jack Canning, uh... You jettison Woot in a cap, you know, in one of the ship canisters. Jack Canning. Uh... Having a chef, you rescued the chef. Now we have to get the doctor. We have to rescue different crew members to try and work out what the fuck went on. I think oh it's been six seven years since I did the quest. It's been a long time. And you can't start again. Uh you have to see it through. Then in three months time you can start again. 
or 90 days, I think. I'm not sure which it cleaves to. It was 90 days. <sighs> I think I'm gonna leave this here. Maximize. You know what? I'm just gonna call it. Oh, um. A module has run out of charges. Really? Misuse of ammo, but well fucking worked. If I'm not allowed to take the money back, so no Tom, Dick, Harry, or pirate can take it, then no one can have it. I'm just going to turn this in, then I'm going to call quits. I need to go get some sleep. The final enemy of, of the Docking mission request. 
has a 200,000 bounty on them. They're in a battle cruiser. It's a 49 mission quest, I was wrong earlier. They're in a battle cruiser, and it varies depending on the champion you're fighting alongside. Uh, in it varies in resistance depending on the champ who you're fighting alongside in the fight. And do yourself well out there. Dr. Albin is co uh, is cooperating with us. Uh, we've gone a long way, but we found uh, we've gone a long way, but we found the key survivor. Her name is T Tahaka Karen. She was the engineer on the main ship from the ruined fleet. She, she was the engineer on the main ship from the ruined fleet, and she signed on to the crew of the Heartbreak. She may be the only one who knows what really happened. Know the drone by now. Get out there and get her before someone else does. Pretty certain there'll be someone there to shoot at you. Ah, sure, eventually. Your wayward ways displease me. Suck my ass. Anyway. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed. Hope you join me again soon. If there's anything you'd like to tell me, please let me know in the comments below. But until then, love and peace, baby. Yeah, I don't think I'll be playing too much more of this game. For now. I'll probably set up stuff in Jitter and then call quits. Uh, as a set final send-off. Um, I'll probably play a bit more. I, want, I would like to do succeed in some level 4 mission before I call quits, but yeah, uh, I know, my heart isn't in it, so, yeah, but till then, till then.